Good morning, boys and girls. I'm glad you came to school today. So let's go ahead and get started with our greeting song, Hello Friend. Hello Friend, how are you? I'm very happy to see you. Greet your neighbor, boogie on down. Give a jump and turn around. Hello friend, how are you? I'm very happy to see you. Greet your neighbor, boogie on down. Give a jump and turn around. Hello friend, how are you? I'm very happy to see you. Greet your neighbor, boogie on down. Give a jump and turn around. Good job, boys and girls. Let's check the weather. If you've seen the weather today, it is raining again. So we're going to write the word rainy. R-r-rainy begins with a R. So if you have your pen, pa uh, pencil and paper, you can write rainy with me. Remember? Remind, remember? First letter is an R, rainy. R, A, I, N, Y. The weather today is rainy. And the temperature today, since it's rainy, it is cold outside. It's even cold inside the house. So today the temperature is cold, k -k cold. What letter makes the k, k sound? C. So let's make our C. C O L D. The temperature today is cold. So let's read it together. The weather today is rainy. The temperature today is cold. So let's move on to our weather chart. That means we need to add another tallying mark to our column where it says rainy, because today is another rainy day. So now we know sunny has three tallying marks. One, two, three. Cloudy has one, one. Windy has none, zero. And rainy has two, one, two. So we'll see what the weather is tomorrow. Maybe rainy will catch up to sunny, or maybe sunny will get ahead. So we'll see and check our tally marks for that. Calendar time, the month is April. We are in a new month, it's April. And today, we need to find out what, what today is. So if you have a calendar, look on your calendar. Yesterday was Monday. So if we move forward one, that means today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. So let's put that up there. And let's read our sentences. Yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday, and tomorrow will be Wednesday. So, almost done with the week, halfway there. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our letter of the week. I have put it up there for you today, and we're ready to go. The letter is V. We have uppercase V and lowercase V. Our alpha friend is Vinny, B -b Vinny, volcano, B -b volcano. So the letter is V, the sound is B. -b but, so let's say it together. The letter is V and the sound is V, V, V. Good job, boys and girls. Now, we have four sight words on our wall. First, let's do them together. Let's review them and then we'll add our new one. First one is I. Stand up. Let's do it together. Straight and tall with a hat and shoes. I. Again, straight and tall with a hat and shoes. I. Next one, can. Get your basketball ready. C-A-N, can. Again, C-A-N, can. 
Last time, C A N can. The. Let's do the. T H E the. Again. T H E the. Last time, T H E the. And then yesterday we learned the word we. These are review. We learned them already, but we're reviewing them. W E we. Again. W E we. Last time, W E we. And our sight word today that we're reviewing is the word see. S E E C. Let me put that up on my wall. <clears throat> sight word C. And this is how we do it. Boys and girls, if you remember, show moms and dads, brothers and sisters. Point to your eye. S E E C. Like you're wearing glasses. Again, S E E C. Last time, S E E C. See, I see you today. Good job. All right. So let's move on. And since you've been listening to the story of the tiny sea or um, watching it on the video or your mom and dad reading it to you, we're going to go ahead and talk about the parts of the plant. Because once the seed starts to grow, it turns into a plant. So, boys and girls, this middle part of our plant are the seeds. There's tiny little seeds all in there together. This is how a plant begins, with the seed being planted in the ground. Okay, so there's our seed. Put an arrow to it so you know what I'm talking about, the yellow part. There's a bunch of little seeds everywhere and right in the middle of our flower bed. Then it's the stem. So let me write stem. We said yesterday the stem is what pops out of the ground. It holds the plant up straight and it's kind of like a straw. It brings the nutrients and the water that the roots get up through the stem to the flower. So the stem is very important. It holds the plant in the ground it also makes it stand up straight and it brings the nutrients and water to the flower. Down here we said these are the roots. The roots hold the plant in and the roots get the vitamins, nutrients, minerals, and water from the soil. So the roots are very important for the plant. So these are the roots of the plant. Then we have the leaves. So let me write leaves here. And the leaves play an important part in a plant because the leaves get the oxygen from the air and they get the sunlight and that's how they feed the plant, through the leaves. The leaves have an important job. They absorb, they take in the sunlight and the oxygen to help the plant make food and grow. Then the last part is the flower. The flower makes the seeds, that the seeds fall to the ground, or if you've read the story of the tiny seed, you know the wind will carry the seed with it. It'll land in different places. Some seeds will plant and grow, some will not make it. But the flower produces the seeds. The seeds fall to the ground, get buried in the soil, and then the whole process starts again. From a seed, um, the plants begin to grow like we said yesterday. The seed gets um, a sprout, then the sprout grows upward, the roots grow downward, then the stem starts to grow, and the stem grows into a plant. First a small plant, then an adult plant, and then this is the adult plant, and these are the parts of the plant. The seed helps it continue to keep um, making more plants, the stem holds it up straight, brings water and nutrients up to the stem, and helps it get what it needs to survive. The roots hold the plant in one spot, drink up the water and the nutrients, and take it up to the stem. The leaf takes in the sunlight and the oxygen, and it makes food for the plant. And then the flower 
the flower makes more seeds, and then the pattern keeps going, repeating over and over. All right, boys and girls, let's do our ABCs. So please sing with me. Mom and Dad, you should know the ABCs, so sing with us, please. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Okay, remember, rock. Let's do this together. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
Well, everything's gonna be fine and we'll see each other soon. Sing with me. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.